Hey guys, what is up today? Sitsuri here, and today I'm going to be teaching you something new. I don't do this kind of video usually, so uh, excuse me for my horrible, like, teaching prowess, but uh, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make a batch file. Now, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm not very good at batch writing, but we should be fine, so let's get started. First, to make the vat batch file itself, not not we're not even coding yet. You need to do this first, at least if you want to. You're gonna want to rename this file, whatever you want. But then, instead of dot text, you're gonna put it to dot bat, and you're gonna say yes. Now. By default, most computers, uh, you won't see the file name extension. So, let's say you had one of these, and you wouldn't be able to change the text document uh, extension to BAT. But, you're going to want to go into View and click File Name Extension so that you can see all of that. Uh, because then it should be uh, e relatively easy, at least, to make a batch file like that. Now, you should be able to go ahead and right-click that, and click Edit, right there. And, let me pull that into view. You made your batch pile. So now, the first thing you're going to want to probably try is set something like Echo, Hello World. But, since today is July 4th, I'm going to do something a bit different than the usual. Happy fourth of July and we're good so we should be able to just save this and you can double click it wait what just happened okay I forgot to tell you one thing when you start this batch file it's gonna run this piece of code so fast that you won't be able to see it. So, we're gonna put something at the end to kinda slow that down, or stop it. It's called pause. What it'll do is it'll wait until you press any key on your keyboard until it moves on to whatever is the next piece of code. In this case, nothing. So when you press any key, it should close. So let me save that. I just like pressing control S. You, you could go in here and, yeah. But, okay, let's don't now double click it. And it worked. It worked perfectly. It worked how we told it to. It worked correctly, at least. At the very least. But this is going to be here until you type one more command at the top, which you probably should, like, at least most of the time. So I'm going to go in here. This is the most commonly used, at least I'm pretty sure, the most commonly used command in batch writing at echo off this part is going to make it so that you can't see this command running and this command is going to make it so that you can't see all the rest of the commands running now instead of using that little at sign you could do at echo off cls which cls by the way clears the screen just so you know but at echo off in my opinion is easier and I'm and I'm also used to it so now we should have a pretty nice looking clean looking batch file happy 4th of July <laughs> happy 4th of July press any key to continue and then it will close so now we can make this a little bit more complicated let's add on a little bit to it so now we're gonna set some variables set at or not at slash p uh, I like Minecraft, I'm sorry. Variable. And that can be changed to whatever you want, but you're going to have to remember that name. Variable. Text. String. Whatever. It can be whatever you want. I'm just trying to demonstrate that. However short, how long, how however you want it. And we're going to type in something like, what is your favorite 
color. And I'm going to save that and run it. So, happy 4th of July. What is your favorite color? Well, I'm going to say blue. Because I like blue. I don't know. Now, what we can do is read off that variable. So, we can say, like, echo percent sign variable text string percent sign now the interesting thing is that if you put percent signs here that I, I learned this just a few minutes ago but if you put per, 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 put percent signs at in the variable when you're typing it out for the first time at least I think in the set slash p or set then uh, it's not going to work correctly. You would have to do something like that to make it work correctly. But since I didn't put percent signs up there, I'm not, I'm not going to put extras over here. So we can say something like your favorite color is that. So now what this right now is basically doing, just to recap what we've done already in the few minutes that we've been recording. Um, so first, you're gonna, m you, we made it, uh, oh my gosh. First, we made it so that it doesn't tell us what every single command is, because that looks kind of ugly. And then, and then we made it so that it tells us, happy 4th of July, shouts. And then we have it set a variable to uh, whatever the user responds. So variable text string is what is your favorite color? And then it echoes your favorite color is variable text string, which is whatever you entered for, or whatever the user entered for set slash p variable text string, what is your favorite color? And then it pauses to make sure that it, you can read that. So I'm gonna save that. And we're going to run it again. What is my favorite color? Red. This time, I guess. I don't know. Your favorite color is red. I knew that. Press any key to continue. Okay, so now we're going to try to get a little bit more advanced. So what I'm going to do is type in an if uh, conditional statement, I guess is what you would call it. So if the variable text string is the same as the same as is different from set same as is two equals and set is one you can also type eqw but i just like doing that if variable text string is blue then you can echo you Uh, I don't actually know what I'm going to echo. Uh, you like one, one of uh, uh, the American <laughs> patriotic colors. I'm not good at this. I don't really have to be. Neither do neither does anybody. But I guess whatever. And uh, so now we can do that a few more times. But for all of the colors that we want, I'm pretty sure there's a more efficient way, which I'll probably show you in the next video. Red and white. So now what this should do is it'll check if you're, you like the color blue, and then it'll check if you like the color red, or if you check the col like the color white. And so now I'm going to save that. And let's run it. What is my favorite color? Well, let's say that I like white. Yeah, that worked. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, so let's try it again, but let's say blue. Yep. 
and now let's try it again with that last color. What did I do? Uh, like red. Okay, that's cool. And so that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, hopefully this helps you just a little bit, or hopefully, at least hopefully, it helps you way more than just a little bit. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.